Welcome to the Prusa i3 rework tutorial. Throughout this tutorial, our goal is to take you all the way from step one, gathering all the parts and tools that you're going to need, all the way through to the end with your final print. Uh, we assume that you have no background experience in 3D printing, in electronics, uh, anything like that. Uh, this tutorial will include uh, where you need to go to buy the pieces and to gather all the tools that you're going to need. And we try to make this as cost effective as possible so that there's not a big you know, barrier to entry to get into 3D printing. And as you can see in this video, this is my first 3D printer. And you can see you know, there's a project right there that I'd already printed. Uh, and the video, it's actually moving pretty slow because I was doing some troubleshooting, uh, trying to figure out where some layer shifting was coming from. But other than that, uh, you can get really good prints out of these printers for relatively cheap. Now the goal of this first video is to show you um, just a brief overview of all the parts that you're going to have to have to build this. And at the end of this tutorial I included individual lists for each section uh, that you can kind of use as a checklist to go through and make sure that you have all of these parts. Now the first photo that you saw of the silver printer, that's the one I'm actually going to be building. And these photos right here are going to show the pieces that I printed out to go on that printer. Uh, because that's one thing with the Prusa i3 rework is that it's designed to where once you have a printer you can print out these pieces and not have to buy them. So if you need replacements or you want to build another printer you can print out a lot of these parts. Now that's one of the cool things about it. And it's actually free to go online and find these files uh, so you can load them onto your printer and print them out. And as you can see, they came out pretty good. I had to go in and do some cleaning and uh, use a little file to trim them up a little bit. Uh, nothing too much, but in the end, they ended up coming out just fine. So uh, here we go in this photo. I also have a video coming up. You know, this is going to be an overview of all the parts that I came up with to for my printer. So uh, you need to realize that once you actually go in and source out all your own parts, you're going to realize that a lot of your stuff doesn't resemble mine. I mean, maybe as far as color or style, but it will be pretty similar. Uh, this is my hot end. This is actually what heats up and extrudes the plastic for your printing. And you may find one that's actually a different style, but as long as it works for the Prusa i3 rework, then you can use any of these hot ends. Also, when you go to buy your parts kit, uh, since you know, I'm assuming you don't have a 3D printer to print these out, but since you'll probably have to go buy them, you'll probably end up with different colors than what I have as well. So don't be put off if what you end up coming up with doesn't look anything like mine. All in all, it's all going to work in the end, so it's, and, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. And also, you're not going to have to understand what any of this stuff does right now, uh, just like that little yellow thermistor there by the heat bed. You don't have to understand what the function of any of this stuff is. Uh, throughout each step, you're going to deal with each piece individually, and it's going to be broke down into a bunch of tiny steps. And over the course of the tutorial, you're going to learn what each piece does and what its overall function is in the 3D printer. And at the very end, you're going to see how everything comes together, and it'll start to make more, more sense once you actually start printing. Uh, because I didn't know what any of this stuff did either before I started, and now I've become very familiar with all these things, and I'm very comfortable with it. So that's the whole point right now, is just to make sure that you have this stuff. And uh, once again, just follow the list at the end of this video. Uh, you know, go on eBay, follow the links that we embedded, and look at what I have in the video, and it will give you a complete picture of the stuff you need to come up with before we actually start. Now there are two things that aren't included in this video and it's two couplings and those are included in the list. The reason I don't have them here is because usually you purchase those but I decided to print mine out and you know at this point I hadn't printed them but they are included in the list. Another thing is is this actual video doesn't include things like tape, heat shrink, zip ties, there's other supplies you're gonna need besides the parts list and I do include a list at the very end of this video called Other Supplies that covers those. And you will need to come up with those. So, you know, you're going to have your parts, you're going to have those supplies, and then video two is going to be dedicated to the tools. Because you are going to need some tools to put this thing together. And it's going to be a little extensive, but they're not 
expensive and they're not very hard to come by and uh, so we're gonna go over that in the second video and uh, for now just make sure you have all these parts uh, you can go online and start sourcing them out and uh, once you get through this then we can focus on the tools so that we can go ahead and start building this thing